In the heart of the city, one can find the University of Leipzig, home to 26,000 students who were raised with a high awareness of environmental issues. The main task of the university is to educate its students even further to an environmentally friendly attitude. The person in charge is Dr. Nicola Klus, environmental representative and coordinator of the University of Leipzig. Umweltschutz an einer Universität ist vielfältig zu betrachten. Gibt es mehrere Dinge, die eine große Rolle spielen. Einmal ist eine Universität dafür da, zukünftige Generationen auszubilden. Wir wollen also den zukünftigen Studenten und auch den jetzigen Studenten alles mit auf den Weg geben, dass sie sich dann als Entscheidungsträger, die später mal sind, dann in äh, ihren Positionen umweltgerecht und mit viel Wissen ausgerüstet bewähren können. Dazu haben wir also Bildungsinhalte an der Universität zu vermitteln und haben hier also auch eine Studienrichtung, die sich speziell mit Umweltfragen beschäftigen. In the summer semester of 2011, the Department of Economics introduced a new lecture series called Ecology and Economy. Professor Thomas Bruckner, leading scientist of climate change, is one of many speakers who illustrate environmental problems and encourage students to engage in discussions. Das Interesse ist für eine Abendveranstaltung sehr gut, also es ist gut besucht, weil es einfach auch ein hochaktuelles Thema ist, wenn man ja zum Beispiel am Energiebereich sieht, dass hier in der Bundesrepublik Deutschland sehr viel in diesem Bereich umgestellt werden soll. Man nimmt sich diesem Thema mittlerweile auch von politischer Seite aus an und das macht es natürlich für die Studierenden interessant, sich auch in einer ökonomischen Ausbildung beim Studium der Wirtschaftswissenschaften mit ökologischen Themen zu beschäftigen. Not only professors and economics majors, but also students from other departments are interested in environmental issues. One of them is Thomas, medical student. Ja, aber jetzt alles sehr über Wirtschaft definiert und es wäre halt einfach schön für die Ökologie, da noch ein bisschen mehr Anklang findet der Umweltschutz. Und das wären dann nur ein paar Leben, um das zu sehen. The Faculty of Applied Chemistry not only treats chemical waste with great care, but also encourages students to participate in environmental projects and internships outside of the classroom. Uh, forschungsmäßig beschäftigen wir uns auch mit umweltrelevanten Thematiken, insbesondere in der Kooperation mit dem Umweltforschungszentrum, uh, in dem Forschungsstudenten Vertief Vertiefungspraktika anfertigen und um, uh, das, sie, das können sie dann entsprechend für ihre, für ihre Curriculum sozusagen dann ausnutzen. For 10 years now, the university has been reconstructed to pave the way to a more environmentally friendly atmosphere. Many projects have been developed to make the campus and also the city greener. In 2010, 600 trees have been planted for 600 years of university. There are many plans for the future. And once the construction site is gone, the University of Leipzig will finally also have a green campus. Sustainability literacy and activism is increasingly being recognized as an important asset in professional, educational, and personal spheres. One of the most important aspects of the Kanawa Project is faculty workshops, which educates participants on environmental issues and helps them integrate these themes into the classroom. Well, we have faculty from all different disciplines. That's something that's key with this project. It's not just scientists or um, uh, mathematicians doing this, but we have faculty from all disciplines. From Topics include local environmental issues, community involvement, and solutions in sustainability. At the end of each workshop, faculty discuss how they incorporate these issues and solutions into their curriculum. As they talk about the curriculum that they're developing, the projects and the design of their courses that are being influenced by sustainability, I get ideas. By first educating and connecting the professors on issues of sustainability, the project aims to develop the environmental literacy of undergraduate students. It's a really real and attainable way to engage students because no, you're no longer just um, engaging the students you know, in geography because now we have professors all across campus. Professors incorporate this dialogue in a variety of ways. Thought-provoking assignments like trash diaries, New reading material, as well as in-depth class discussion, are all examples of how faculty incorporate sustainability literacy. A lot of what we've discussed has been more experience-based, so instead of lecturing to a student about um, like the, f the global food structure, instead, why don't you have them map out where their food comes from? So it instantly becomes more personal, more tangible. 
The Kanawa Project will help students make wise consumer choices that can positively contribute to environmental equality and sustainability. We are looking at savings and, and we're thinking about waste in different ways and we are thinking about our social responsibility to our community in different ways. In addition to developing environmental literacy, the Kanawa Project will give Ohio University graduates a competitive advantage in the workforce and a better and greener future. We hope ultimately that students become um, ecologically literate and aware and uh, ecological citizens. This kind of project, this kind of theme, gives them some new sense of who they are in the world.